Hey there, I am Courtney Brickner, owner of The Crafty Brick, and I'm so excited today because I'm participating in the Heat Transfer Warehouse Garment Decoration Challenge. So I have been given some items from Heat Transfer Warehouse, and today I'm gonna to be using, this is the flock with some rhinestones. I've never used um, rhinestones or made a rhinestone template in the past, but today I'm gonna to try it out and we're gonna see how that goes. And then I've got some, um, Caesar Easy Weed Electric, as well as, which one is this? The Metal, and this is the um, Glitter. So these are the materials, oh yeah, and the Flock, the Caesar Flock. These are the materials I'm gonna be using today, and I'm making my own design, and the theme is winter. So here we go. So let's start with fail number one. I used the flock to start with because I needed to cut out the template for my rhinestone. But what I didn't know was, first of all, that it didn't need to be mirrored, and I did mirrored, and I also did not need to remove each of these dots individually. It took forever. I could barely see them, and I just didn't need to do that. So that was the first mistake, and it really ended up with an enormous mess all over the place so don't do it like this now let's move on to mistake number two i started to place the rhinestones in the little holes that i had taken out individually and i should not have been doing this on the mat i didn't even remove the backing from it and that's not the way you're supposed to do it but i continued i put the transfer paper on got it off and then came to realize that I mirrored the design a second time after I put all the rhinestones on. I had decided that rhinestone templates were not for me, but I was so determined to include it in my design, I had to try one more time. I went ahead and used my Juliet cutting machine and cut out all of the material that I needed for the entire design, including the flock again. I went ahead and weeded everything, and this time the flock actually weeded perfectly and just peeled away all of the dots stayed where they were supposed to stay then i removed the backing and placed it on a piece of felt and added my rhinestones most of them fell into place but i did need to flip some around afterwards and fill in some of the spaces that still had holes there but this took so much less time than my previous attempts so then i took my transfer paper put it on top of the word, pressed it down, pulled it off, and it was perfect. The first thing I wanna do is since I'm doing layers is I wanna kinda of line everything up so that I can put it in the right place before I iron it on. Now that it's all ready, we'll do each layer one at a time and place them where they need to go and then iron them on. They all required different times and temperatures. So I started with the lowest temperature and did that layer first. And then I worked my way up to the higher temperatures and just kept working like that. And in between each layer, I used a Teflon sheet of paper so that I could protect the layers that were already down prior to the new layer being added on. This last layer with the Caesar metal was a little bit different because it was a cold peel and all the other ones were either warm or hot peel. So I did this one last and did the cold peel and then it was finished. Look how cute it turned out. I love this metal and the metallic and the rhinestones, glitter, the flock, all of it paired together perfectly and I love this finished product. Okay, I did it. This is my entry for the Heat Transfer Warehouse Garment Challenge and the theme is winter. I did San Diego winter is my jam because I really don't like snow and cold and I enjoy palm trees and warm things. So that was what I went with for this design. I used Caesar Weed Electric, Glitter, which other one? Um, metal, oh, this one was the metal, and Strip Flock, and then Rhinestones. This was my first time using Rhinestones. It took me a few tries. The first try, I actually did um, I mirrored the design and I should not have done that. The, and I didn't also, I also didn't use the right um, pressure settings to cut out all the circles. Second time, let's see, I mirrored again. I didn't mean to do that, but it still didn't work out. Third time was a charm. I had the correct pressure. I did not mirror the design. And um, I was able to kind of figure out how to get the little stones into the holes a little bit easier. So 
Initially, I was thinking I really didn't like the rhinestones, but now I think they're really fun. And especially with how cute the design turned out, I think I would definitely use them again. Anyway, I hope I win the challenge. But if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything crafty. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.